Hello friends, Kalina of Story Retold. I am playing Sherlock Holmes, Hound of the Baskervilles, which is a classic story in the Sherlock Holmes uh, canon. And uh, I am not a huge fan of hidden object games. That's what this game is. But I am here for Sherlock Holmes and the story. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go with easy, because I don't need to be on hard just yet. Ooh, bloody. Hundred and sixty five years. It seems that we have a visitor, Holmes. Indeed. Come in. Hello, Sir Henry Baskerville. Did you have a good trip? But how do you know who I am? I had not announced my visit. By looking at your dress, it is totally unsuited to our wet English weather. This allowed me to deduce that you came here in a hurry and carrying the bare minimum in your luggage. Then there is a blue ink stain on your <laughs> thumb, the same blue ink used by the passenger service at Waterloo Station to print their tickets. Your ticket has stained your thumb because of the rain. Also, my attention was attracted to your cufflinks with the initials HB, but still I had not yet made the connection with the famous Baskerville family. It is by remembering a Times article that I deduced your identity. It was telling of the odd death of Charles Baskerville and the likely return of his nephew and only heir, Henry. Brilliant. Your reputation is well-deserved, Mr. Holmes. But let me explain the purpose of my visit. I am... You do not believe in legends, and you would like to clear the circumstances of your uncle's death. You need a factual, logical, and rational explanation of what some call the Curse of the Baskervilles. And who else, in all modesty, but Sherlock Holmes and his faithful friend Dr. Watson would be able to solve such a mystery? Watson, my friend, pack your bags. We're leaving for Baskerville Hall. Why don't you let him get a word in? The curse of the Baskervilles, Henry. Its origin dates back to my ancestor, Hugo Baskerville. It is said he was a vile person who earned the wrath of the devil. After his death, all our ancestors seemed to come to bad ends at Baskerville Hall. At the scene of each death, there were always dog or wolf tracks, but gigantic. Thus, over the centuries, a legend was built, that of a creature from hell, the Hound of the Baskervilles. My uncle was sure that it was a reality. He was convinced that the beast would take him sooner or later, as it took all those our lineage. With his last letter, he sent me this medallion. According to Charles, it was needed to break the curse of the Baskervilles, but he did not know how to use it. Do you believe in this legend, Mr. Holmes? We'll have to exhaust all other hypotheses before falling back on that one. <laughs> Baskerville Hall in sight. Holmes, Doctor, welcome to Baskerville Hall. The servants are not here to welcome us, I fear. They were severely affected by the death of my uncle and have since retired. For the evening or from their jobs? The family portraits gallery, I assume. But why such expressions on their faces? These pictures have not always been so disturbing. According to my uncle, the changes in the paintings occurred after the violent death of the portrayed Baskerville. It appears to be one of the effects of the curse. Wow. Have you noticed the family coats of arms under the pictures are missing? Hmm. Indeed, it is an interesting point to begin our investigation. Where can these coats of arms be? And why did they disappear? Something to look for. Let's try to find them. I cannot stay here any longer. The sight of those ghastly faces is unbearable. Welcome to Baskerville Hall. Do you need an interactive tutorial through the game? Through the entire game? Uh, sure. I don't... I'm not familiar with Frogwares version of Hidden Object Game, so... If you are stuck, press the hint button in the center of the medallion. Click to continue. Okay. Hall is that way. Roger's door lock piece. Okay, that's inventory. So I guess we're just gonna hover our cursor around Louise's door. Why is it barred? This door is shut with planks. If we want to go in, we will need to remove the boards. 
Okay, I guess we need a tool for it. Here's a coat of arms. One out of five. Okay, great. Pitcher of water. Uh, we're taking it. Great. Oh, let's take a look at Roger Baskerville's portrait. Huh. He was a famous hunter, without doubt one of the best in the kingdom. Roger... Oh. Charles. Charles Baskerville. Okay. My uncle. It's not easy to look at his portrait altered, so... Elizabeth Baskerville. The daughter of Charles. She died 15 years before her father. The poor man never recovered from the loss. Yeah, they all have hollowed eyes and are weeping. Edward, the brother of Hugo and Oliver, spent most of his life on the ocean, a great navigator. That was creepy. Lily was the daughter of Roger. She accompanied him on his trips to study nature and insects. Entomologist, that's where she was. Okay. Ooh, second floor. James. A doctor of a medicine, a veterinary... A doctor of medicine, a veterinarian, and a surgeon died in 1777. Louisa, an artist, an imagination and great talent, very young, died at 26. Did I get them all? See them all? All right, second floor. Okay, this is a zoom zone. Its focal point may have elements missing or need to be solved. Keep a sharp eye out for these zones. I'm missing five elements. One, two, three, four, five. Complete the lock. Okay, so we're missing pieces. Is this one? Not the right item. Okay. Roger's room. Oh, hey. All pieces here are found, so that's good. Oh, okay. I see the color strips or markers need to be all connected somehow. I'm presuming color to color. Here we go. Yay! Oh, I solved it in less than a minute. I, I got an award. Like a wind. <gasps> Yay. Oh, okay. Sir Roger Baskerville is certainly one of the most famous hunters in all of Great Britain. Yeah, that would be frowned upon these days. Indeed, Dr. Watson, my grandfather spent a large part of his life traveling the colonies of the Empire to stalk the largest predators in the world. Let us try to learn more about the tragic death of Sir Roger Baskerville. Such a distinguished hunter could not possibly have been killed by a simple dog. Oh, geez. Oh, a crossbow piece. Why not? A knife. We'll take that. Crystal eye. Uh, okay, crystal eye might belong in something. What's with the danger music? Oh, the book of the Baskervilles. Nice. Found a book with a map of the mansion. You can use it to move between locations. Ooh, fast travel. Great. Okay, that's the entry. Uh, maybe that's the entry. That's the portrait room. That's the hall. That's where I'm at. Oh, uh, it's the hunting room. These are the honors. Oh, I get awards. Okay, no hints. Don't use hints. How do I get out of here? Cool. I like the art. I like the illustration style. A curtain ribbon. Oh, a paper. Okay, we're just finding stuff. He's missing his fangs? Oh dear. Whiskey, huh? It's a mess. We need to clean it up? Maybe? Oh! 
This guy's blinking. The wolf's head. Oh, missing two eyes. This must be one of them. Cool. We gotta find the other one. The horn. The horn goes on somebody, huh? Who's missing a horn? We should open these curtains to let light into the dark room. Okay, how do I do that? Use a curtain ribbon. Oh, doggy! There he is! Creepy. I had an object scene. Oh, very cool. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Okay. Why am I excited? This is a... Okay, knife, oiler, plant, foxtail, horse heads, chain. There's a chain. Oh yeah, candle, binoculars, a bone. I guess I got an award for that. All this stuff does look appropriate for this scene. I will give it that game credit for that. Because it's something that normally bothers me when there's random things that just don't belong in a room for context. What is a hook scale? like a dagger. An oiler. That was the key element to find. Okay. With less than 10 wrong clicks. Okay, great. I got a ward. Received a medal. All the honors are here. Let's take a look. Honors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Find 10 objects in 10 seconds. Okay. Without missing clicks. Oh, that'll be tough. I might not get all the awards, but that's fine. Okay. Alright, who's missing? Oh, great. What's this? Ten rust spots left to oil. That looks rusty. Why on earth conceal a lever inside a fireplace? If we want to discover its use, we must... We'll first have to distinguish the fire. Okay, well, I've got a pitcher of water. All right. Ooh, what's this? A hidden passage? Awesome! To the secret garden. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to clean up the whiskey. I don't know if there's anything else I'm supposed to... Yeah, I want the coal. I saw that, that blinking. I guess that's all I can do here, except for the whiskey, which I don't know how to clean up, and I, I still need to find a wolf head. Um, the a eyeball. A corn, a dragon, a werewolf. I can't believe my eyes. Nice. Don't let appearances fool you, Henry. Doctor Watson is right. It is unlikely that these fantastic animals ever existed. It is rather a matter of a remarkable job of taxidermy. Okay, so we're exploring. Ooh, dragon's head. Padlock the mouth of that. Iguana is what he's saying. Coat of arms, yay! Terrific. I wanna read this. Ivy you can see a fresco on the wall. Covered with ivy, nearly impossible to discern. Can we use the knife to cut the ivy? Yes. <gasps> Puzzle! Yes! Is this a slider? No, it's a rotational. No, it changes pictures. What do you suppose we're supposed to make of this? Ooh, it's the devil. Or that angel, or whoever it is. A key? A padlock key? Let's use it on the... Yeah! Coat of arms piece. Great! A werewolf. Oh, there's a coat of arms around its neck. Use crossbow to unhook it? Okay. 
I have one piece of a crossbow. Can I use that? Oh, I have to put together a crossbow. Okay, what's this? Too dirty to read, huh? The Minotaur's hand. Can't move his fingers. Ah, we have the horn. Give him his horn. Uh, I do want to go back. That's a good, good point. I'm wondering if that's the only thing I can do because I can't. I don't. Oh, a cloth, huh? Where's the cloth? Oh, dirty? Okay, here we go. We need to wet the cloth with alcohol. Okay, fine. Cloth and alcohol. Huzzah. And since we're here, let's add the other eye to the wolf. I am liking this puzzle connection to the past. Uh, let's go back to the secret garden and finish this business. Oh, a symbol. All right, we'll use that and coal to scribble on. I like that. We need another piece of crossbow. Okay, let's go back. Two. We're still missing a couple. All right, let's what go to the past. Happened? Where are we? Cool. I believe the correct question is rather, when are we? What do you mean, Holmes? Look at these traces of struggle. Look at the shape of the room, its decoration. Everything appears as if Sir Roger was just killed. Smell the air. The odors of gunpowder and blood are still fresh. Creepy. You don't really think that we went back in time, do you? Normally, I would reply no and laugh at your naivety. But for now, I'd rather not say anything. I do not know how or why, but it seems that we have stepped back to a few minutes after the death of Sir Roger. There is always an explanation. Be patient. Ooh. Oh, hidden object. Here we go. Pouch, trophy, arrow, medal, playing card, ring, hat, horse, knife, cigar, fork, two hunting horns, bird skull, small skull, and two belts. Here it is. The golden arrow. Newspaper. Look at this copy of the Times. It's almost 90 years old. Either it is perfectly kept, or we are really at the beginning of the century. Very cool. Second floor key. Nice. Coat of arms. Yay. Scheme piece. You should find all eight pieces of this scheme. It could help us understand the curse. Okay. More things to collect. Uh, crossbow. Can I take it? Okay. Now we get the whole thing. It's ready to be used. Old vase. We have to break it? Can't use a crossbow on that. Okay. Another old vase. All right. What else can I look at besides the vases? Two vases. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go back and use the crossbow on the werewolf. Oh, freaky. Yay! We got all the coat of arms. We have all the pieces of the coat of arms of Sir Roger Baskerville. Let's go to his portrait. All parts of the coat of arms have been collected. Do you want to go to the portrait gallery? Yes. I can now lift the curse from the first member of the Baskerville family. Yay! Take the coat of arms and put it in the slot. <gasps> Yay! The painting oh, seems to be regaining its original colors, as if the curse was lifted. 
Yeah, explain that. Holmes, Watson, look. By inserting the arms, we've triggered a mechanism. A secret cache. Cool. There's something inside. Oh, awesome. The diameter of this jewel seems to perfectly match the empty slot on the medallion. Oh. I think Sir Roger has given us an important element for our investigation. Look, there's a note in the back of the jewel. Physical power and brute force. Amazing. The medallion seems to react to the presence of the jewel. It vibrates. Let us try to use it. Perhaps on the boards that block the door to Louisa's room. Okay. Sure. Strength. Oh, cool. It's a little token. It gives incredible strength to whoever uses it. It allows one to break the most resistant items or to lift heavy loads. Special powers. Cool. I got an award. Use that on Louise's door. Indeed, it seems that the powers of this locket give us interesting perspectives. Powers? Dear friend, let's not sink into superstition. Okay, so we do have one piece. Missing four. Great. Uh, let's go to Roger's room. Did we, uh... Oh, I think we needed to go back here, right? Was there... Or did we finish this? We needed strength for something... This location is completed. Okay, great. This place. Oh, we needed strength for uh, the vases. Yeah. May the power be with you. A painting, huh? Oh, more things to collect. Use the strength on a gear. More things to collect. Okay, we've completed this area. Terrific. Back to the present. We finished that. We finished that. Let's back out of the portrait gallery. Let's go to the hall. Ooh. Hugo Baskerville. Jane's room. Lily's room. The winter garden. A dark place. Heck yes. Oh, I need a light or something? Okay, kitchen. I guess we're going to James' room. Oh, four elements. Okay, so what is this? Is this a s incomplete door lock? If one day I had to put an end to my business in Canada, I could always become a locksmith. <laughs> okay, uh, gear, painting part, scheme piece. Is that what that is? No, not the right item. Okay, so that's something else that we need to find. How about Lily's room? Winter garden. Cut through with some kind of saw. Okay. That is locked as well. Okay, well, what do I do then? I can't seem to do anything else or check out anything else. Quite sure what we need to do. Oh, did we go through Lisa's door? We didn't. <laughs> we this unlocked is it. Room. She was a great actress. The poor woman did not live long enough to have the career she deserved. Do you know how she tried to escape the beast? According to my uncle, she tried to escape reality by creating a world of her imagination. She hid there, thinking she could escape her fate. But the curse took her anyway. And what of this refuge she created? My uncle found Louisa's writing speaking of a world behind the mirror. She hmm. called it her shelter, but Charles never found out what it was exactly. Mm, okay. I guess we're taking a hat. <gasps> a box. Ooh, a puzzle. Are we missing a gem? No, that's where it goes. So where is it supposed to? Oh, the ring is different than the gem inside. Okay. Do we rotate? Oh, it slides like that. Okay. Okay, that has to go. That's correct. 
that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Easy. Nicely played. Mystery solver award, yay! Keys, yes, I'll take that. The fang, oh yeah, that goes to the trophy. I guess that's all we get. Can you shake it? Can you break it? Oh, we're so destructive. But we'll take the gear. Coat of arms. Huzzah. That clock looks interesting. Oh, did you see the... In the mirror, the dog appeared. This wolf is also missing eyes. You poor thing. The wardrobe is locked with a key. Let's try this key. Inspect the contents. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, is it this? Found a glove. What am I doing with a glove? Best mom? <laughs> Yay, I guess. Mirror. Five mirror items are missing? Two mirrors face to face. Okay. A painting part. Yay, another one. This is most interesting. What's... Something in her hand. Oh, if we give her a hat to complete her look, we have a crystal eye. Oh, her other glove. I see. And the other thing. No, hang on. I want to add this eye to here. So we're looking for the other one. Another coat of arms. I suppose that is all we get to look at because we're missing a fang. All right, all right. Let's go back to the fang. Where is that? Here? The fangs go on the tiger. There is the crystal eye. Yes, let's go there. And then we add both. Time to go back to the past. Here we are again in the past. My God, what a savagery. A brutal crime, Henry, a brutal crime. Sadly, it reminds me of our investigation of the crimes of the Ripper of Whitechapel. Awful. Painting part, yay. Marionette. Oh, creepy. The rulers that control this marionette. Okay. Uh, break the base. Another gear. Terrific. Ugh, blood. Another coat of arms. It's interesting that things are hidden in the past, and that's the only way to get them. That'd be a trippy way of uh, hiding your actual stuff. Oh, yeah, another second floor key. Coat of arms. I don't know about you, but uh, I think this is the scariest episode or story. Now oh, we're missing one more gear. In the Sherlock, the scariest in the Sherlock Holmes canon. Oh, here we go. Perfume photo, powder puff, purse, shoe tray, cupcake candle fan. This? I guess that's a brush? That's a weird shaped brush. The black candle is the interesting thing, not the key. Well, right, alright. Looks like a unicorn horn. Ooh. Oh, that's right. We need one more gear. Huh. Oh, we got more stuff.
Yeah, we're all out. Uh, I saw a gear like this in the room of Sir Roger. Don't remember where. Okay. Which one was Sir Roger's? Oh, we have to go back to the present. Okay. Sir Roger's room? There was a gear in here. Was it... Oh, is this a repeat puzzle? Huh? Yep. Yay! Without a hint. Great for me! Without missing any clicks. Yay! Oh, wow. Well, I got a lot of awards for that. Location complete. Okay, we needed that gear, and where were we? Going to the past via Louise's room. Oh, we're supposed to go back here? 15 candles? Whoa. I do like it when I know what I'm looking for without having to look at the tray down here. So that's great. I'm missing three? That's not a drawing of one, is it? Oh, square. Didn't even think about squares. Well, why not? Let's take a look at our hints. Oh, wow. Okay. That was well hidden. So we got two candles. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a break right here. All right, so now we're back and trying to remember what we're supposed to be doing here. Mirror, huh? Five items are missing? What items? Candlestick? The disposition of these candlesticks seems extremely accurate. Were they not placed here by chance? What are, what is this? A mirror, okay. A small mirror. The other candlesticks. Mirror candlesticks. Okay, that's all we can really look at, but five items. I don't know what items are. The candlesticks? I guess it's these, huh? Maybe we'll try these. Okay. Great. So we're missing three more candlesticks. There's one. There's two. I guess we're missing a mirror, too? All right, we'll just back out. Oh, uh, where do we look? What is this glowing for, though? This is interesting. Okay, so we I guess we completed that. And that and that. No, wait, what does it say in the bottom here? There are tasks to complete at this location. Uh, whereas this is no tasks. Okay, so maybe if we go here. Wait, what's this? Oh, the honors. It's letting me know about all these wonderful rewards that I got. Isn't that great? Okay. I mean, this is still glowing, so... Well, let's take a look and see we've got we've got things to do here, so... The rulers that control. Oh, you mean like the little handheld sticks or whatever? Do we have that? No, but we do have a lock for the door. <gasps> okay, this is glowing. We. Oh, the gear! Yes! Okay, so this is the turning gear. We need it to unlock this. Okay. So I guess we have. These are all just. These all can be moved. Okay. Oh, I don't even need that one. Cool. Yay! A handle. What does that handle go to? Where did we need a handle? We need the rulers. 
And there's nothing else in here, so we just need the rulers. Maybe... What do we need a handle here? That's not it, okay. Okay, fine. Ha. Huh. Well, I mean, we can put this one in, so we'll do that. Get that out of our inventory and in the right place. I still need one more of this. And what is this, a scheme piece? A door lock. Okay, it's telling me to go to the hall, huh? You just saw. I don't remember where it was that we needed a handle. Okay, well, this is important, so we'll add that. That's not the right item? Oh, okay, this is. Oh, three more to go on this. I have no idea. Louisa's room? We were just here. Roger's room. This location is completed. We don't need to be in here. Okay. Let's see what the map has to say. We still need to be doing things in here. Okay, okay. Handle, huh? Mirror. A drawer. Oh, it's a drawer. Nice. We got the last coat of arms piece. Hooray. Yes, let's go there. Louisa's. Okay, which one's... That's Lily. Oh, that's Louisa. Yay! Another jewel for the medallion. It also has an engraving. Perception and intuition. Perception and intuition. Could it be that it will allow us to see details that we missed? Let's be attentive to our environment. Perception for seeing things, huh? This gem enables its user to considerably increase his visual accuracy and perceive the smallest details. Oh, a dark corner. Cool. Let's use perception. Oh, the key to the kitchen. Awesome. There's the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen. This place will be very useful to us if we are to remain several days here. Yeah, you need to make some food. Several days in this sinister place? Oh, dear Holmes, I must confess, sometimes I have difficulties in understanding your humor. I think I remember this kitchen. As I recall, I was in the habit of stealing pastries as a child. How surreal this all seems. Matches. What are, we need those for the candles, right? What do we need a jug for? And a cauldron? Ooh, mouse. Ew. To the hall. Oh, another black candle. That's great. A fire poker. A pot. Okay, we'll use our fist of strength. James's door lock. That's great. Ooh, dark place. Let's use perception to see. Cabinet lock. One of two, huh? Dark place here. Yay! <laughs> and you use supervision three times and you're still alive. You must be really special. You deserve a sharp eye. Cool. Another door lock. I think we've got all the door locks then. No, we're missing one more. But it could be already in the puzzle, so. Uh, so we need dry wood for the fireplace. We don't have any, do we? We got matches and a fire poker and a cauldron. I guess we'll be having to make some food, huh? That'll be interesting. Oh, you want a cauldron there? Fine, we'll put a cauldron there. We can cook or melt something over these licking flames. What flames? I don't see a flame. Okay. 
Well, I suppose we should go put some of these pieces where they belong. I don't see anything else that we can do in here. Let's add... Let's see, it is... James's door lock. Ah, oh, so we are missing just one more piece. Uh, cabinet lock part. What cabinet? Ooh, another dark place. Okay, great. Aha! We can go to James's... Through James's door now. Okay, what's happening here? I see this panel. Oh, what? What did I just do? Well, that's interesting. I guess we... We got it. Without skipping, huh? Cool. James Baskerville was a doctor and a renowned surgeon. He graduated from the prestigious Royal London Medical School. According to my uncle, he spent much time performing medical research on animals. No doubt that he wanted to exploit the weaknesses of the beast that threatened his life. Okay. Interesting. Supposing this beast does exist. I begin to doubt that a man, however wild he might be, could be the source of these murders. Oh, I see the piece. Second floor key. A skull. Something inside, so we break it. A circular key. One of three. Another, the other cabinet lock piece. We're good on that. Okay, dark place. Oh, the other crystal eye. Awesome. I like libraries. Piece of a painting. Wolf's head. Is this the uh, correct eye for it? Okay. Another coat of arms. Medicine cabinet. Okay. We've got the missing pieces. Great. Oh, a puzzle time. Uh, okay, it looks like the red have to be over here and the blacks have to be over here. So. Uh, so I guess it's just a, a hop hop over kind of thing. Wow, that was a really hard puzzle, but it was clever in the solution. coffee break. <laughs> it took more than 10 minutes. Oh, goodness. The mirror! Yay! Another black candle. I guess we know where we're going. Look at this. Why is this dripping? That's creepy. Okay, I think that is all we can do at the moment in this room. So, oh, carpet. What? <gasps> A hidden trap door! I love it. Okay, we've got we're missing two. S two more circular keys. Okay. Let's go back to the hall. Uh, maybe not to the kitchen. We do need to go back to Louisa's room. All right, mirror. Oh, that's the mirror thingy. Okay. And the last two candles. Four candles to light. Okay, we got matches. Oh, green. Beyond the mirror. This manor is full of surprises. That's blue. Now it's possible to cross the mirror. Louisa's secret shelter. How could it be? Don't disturb yourself, my friends. Let's continue our investigation. Mm -hmm. 
How do we do that? What do we look at here? Strange sign, eight. Painting part, that's great. Gotta look very carefully because the mirror is foggy. Another scheme. Another painting part. Oh, we've got all the painting parts, but we don't know where we're going to be putting this painting together, huh? Oh, cool. A picture. Anything else? Let's just look at the picture. Uh, tiles? Are these? Oh, it's the hound! <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, okay, uh, good. It's not like a crazy slider puzzle or anything like that. Oh, the marionette rulers. Okay, we can go back there. We've completed this area. Uh, the marionette. Where is that? Is that in the pass? Yes. Oh, she's not that creepy. Oh, the crystal eye. Okay, great. Yes. Let's put the eye in the wolf. We will go in there. Once again some minutes after the attack. If Sir James was killed not long ago, why is there no trace of his body? And what if the animal that has taken his life is still here? It may be somewhere outside. Stay away from the window, Henry. If an animal is responsible for such a mess, it certainly must be big enough to carry away a human body. You think that these murders might not be the work of a man, Holmes? No, a man could not do such damage. On the contrary, a man would be perfectly capable of raising an animal to fulfill this type of savageness for him. That's not good. We've got so many things to look at. Ooh, hidden object time. Okay. I'm glad that there are plenty of puzzles to balance out the amount of hidden objects. That's a snake. Cool, 100 items, yay. This is this perfume? Okay, that is. Hooray! Three hidden object screens in a row in less than three minutes each. Great, dogfighter. Anatomic model, ew, okay. A lung and a heart. Ugh. I can see an object in this bottle. The glass is very thick and would appreciate would require an immense strength to break it. We've got strength. Another circular key. Great, we've got all the circular keys. That hand is creepy. Oh, coat of arms. And another scheme. I was checking the desk. I mean, it really wants us to go to the present and we don't have a lung and a heart. Okay, we're going to go to the present then. Here we go. Okay, how does this puzzle work? Do we have to get this piece over here? Oh my goodness, there's a slider of some sort. Oh, trippy. Do we have to get a clear path or something? I guess so. Okay. To the laboratory. Nice. What a smell. <gasps> this is oh. Your uncle was right, Henry. Sir James was interested in canine anatomy. Oh dear. And his fear drove him to perform experiments that his own ethics should have condemned. Tragic. Oh, gross. Oh, that's terrible. Glad this is fictional. Those are matches? I couldn't quite tell. Okay, we've got a wolf head. What is that for? It's a fountain part? Oh, that's tiny. Oh, okay. 
another coat of arms. That's great. Just got a couple more to get. A lung. Are we supposed to punch it? Okay, that's good. We got a piece for that. The anatomical model. Oh, Franken dog. Hopefully the animal was not alive when he started to... Oh, a cage. Ew. A saw. Oh, the saw. We needed that for a door or something. Oh, we can go to James' room from up there. All right, well, let's just go to James' room and see if there's anything else that we can... Let's see, what do we have? We got a jug. We've got a lung and the saw. Oh, we should go to the saw. Or go use the saw, I should say. This one needed to cut it. Okay. Yay! A nice place. It could be very pleasant to have tea here in another context. Yeah. Separate the bars. So we use our fist for that? Yes. Great. We have all three fountain parts, wherever the fountain may be. Another coat of arms. That's good to find. How cool would it be to have a greenhouse or a conservatory? So lovely. Empty flower pots at these. Oh, okay. So empty. We're not supposed to break it. We're supposed to fill it. Three fountain heads. We've got that. This is the fountain. Yay! It works now. So it spews water. Uh, do we use the jug for that and get some water? Some seeds. There are seeds in there. Okay. Both seeds. So one seed for this pot, one seed for that pot, and then we pour some water in, right? I have to wait two weeks to see what will grow. Another plan in mind? <laughs> uh, can we use perception on it? No. Strength? Maybe we have to change the time. What else is in here, huh? Hidden object time. All right. Look at all these wonderful things. A syringe. Oh, yeah, the medicine. I know where the medicine is. Yeah, let's go to the hall. Okay, back to the hall. Syringe. Is it this? This room? Yeah, okay. Use the medicine on... Where do we use the medicine? Um, well, let's see what it has to say here. It really wants me to go to the past. <laughs> oh, back to here. 15 bottles. Two more, huh? There we go. The syringe is now filled with the serum. Okay. Uh, it might help the dog. Oh, goodness. Well, let's give the lung to this anatomic model. It still lacks an organ, huh? A heart. Whoa. Whoa, it disappeared. Ew. Okay, we've got the heart now. We'll add the heart to the anatomical model. <laughs> and he's model. Model. And it spits out a padlock key. Great, this location is complete. Where is that padlock that we saw? Is it here? Yeah. To the cage? 
Nice animation. And the last coat of arms piece. Huzzah! Return to the gallery. Yes. Okay, um, actually, this is a great place to pause. And I will return momentarily. It's been a while since I've played this, so let's take a look at what we need to do. So we've got something to accomplish here. Oh, here. James Baskerville. Second floor key. Missing one. Ah, the coat of arms. Yay! This He's... jewel carries an inscription. Temporal acceleration. Tell us about this medallion, Henry. Try to remember the smallest details, even the most trivial. My uncle wrote that he discovered it in Edward's room, but I don't know any more as he wanted to tell me the rest in person. Edward's room, huh? Edward, okay. the brother of Hugo. Yes, Doctor, but unlike what was written in the press, Hugo was not a victim of the curse. His body was found outside the manor near the abandoned mines. It was not mutilated or savaged. As for Oliver, the younger of the three brothers, he disappeared. No one knew what could have happened to him. Edward was the first proven victim of the Hound. Ooh. Therefore, Edward did not know of the existence of the beast before being murdered. This contradicts the idea that this medallion, although it was discovered in his room, could have belonged to him. Unless the medallion has a purpose other than killing the beast, but right now we can only speculate. We lack concrete evidence. Let's continue our investigation. Okay. Need more clues. All right, what do we have? We could go to Louise's room. We could go to the hall. Let's take a look at our map. We still have things to accomplish here and here, but uh, let's go here. What do we have? Matches. Flower pot. We should water it. Do we have? Yeah, we're missing a lot of pieces here. Oh, a dry twig. Oh, branches could fuel a fire since the charcoal in the kitchen is unusable. Okay, do we, like, use a surgery saw to cut a twig? <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right, how do we get to the kitchen? Well, we go to the hall. Jane's room, winter garden, portrait gallery, kitchen. There it is. It has been quite... A while since I have played this, so I'm. Oh, you rat, you. All right, do we f we fuel here? Okay, great. And then we can light the matches. And what are we cooking? <laughs> or melt something? Okay, we have a fire poker. But what do we do with the food again? We don't have any more inventory items. Oh, go to the hall. Okay. I'm, I'm glad the game hints at what needs to be done. Let's take a look at what the map has to say. Uh, is it something in here? Are we missing something here? We got strange signs, a scheme, scheme pieces, the fire poker, which is great. The second floor key. Oh, I just saw something happen. Okay, we're still missing one more element there. Oh, I totally missed that. Okay. The bearer of this gem can accelerate time. Sure, let's try it out now. Oh, accelerate time for the flower pot. Speed on the flower I know pot. Some botanists who would pay a fortune for this medallion. Yeah, and then we've got a key here. And some wine growers. <laughs> yes, that's so true. Farmers. Lily's room key. 
Let's use speed on this one too. Another molding part. All right, let's go to Lily's. James, Winter Garden, Portrait. Where's Lily's room? Yeah, we're here. Oh, it's right here. Huh. <laughs> if I just, you know, hover it. Ooh. Lily was my aunt, Charles' sister. She was an entomologist. Without this curse, and with so many different vocations, the Baskerville family could have greatly contributed to the sciences. What a loss for Great Britain. Yeah. Uh, Holmes? Watson, don't just stand at the door. Enter the room. We have a great deal of work to do. Um, are you sure there are no... Haha. <laughs> Oh no, my friend. There are no spiders in this place. Just a few domesticated moths. Come, do not be a child. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got lots to look at. Yay! Coat of arms piece. Yay! Empty terrarium. One can see tunnels dug by insects. Very cool. You'll need to break the lamp. Oh dear, can you use the fire poker on it? No, okay. What is that? Tetravex? There's one of eight. What's with the intense music? Strength on the glass, here we go. A crystal eye, oh! That'll be cool. Destroyed molding. Here's another piece here. Coat of arms piece, yay! You guys, I really recommend playing this game. It's, it's pretty fun. Wolf's head, missing two eyes. There's one crystal. Butterfly collection. Someone has stolen some specimens. We're missing a few. One, two, three. It looks like three. Door to garden. Ah. Missing one more piece. Okay. No opening mechanism to open the strange box. Yeah, alright, fine. We'll go to the door of the garden then. Ah. Ingenious lock. We can do it. Tetravix piece. Here we go. Oh, are we missing? Oh, these are the pieces that we're missing. We're missing six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. All right, back to the hall then. Uh, let's go here. Oh, back to the garden. What's this? <gasps> Hidden object game. Yay! Okay, I'm actually kind of excited for this now. Molding part, yay! All right, back to here we go. There we go. Oh boy, a puzzle! Yay, puzzles! Okay, there's a praying mantis. Oh, it's supposed to have a crystal eye. Great. Let's put the crystal eye on the wolf. To the past. Watson, what's wrong? Did you see the beast? If I had to choose between the hound and the monstrous tarantula that has taken up residence here, believe me, I'd hesitate a few minutes before deciding. Mm, gross. Sir Henry, I beg you to excuse the remarks of Dr. Watson. His phobia for spiders makes him absolutely illogical. Illogical. It's understandable. Let's try to find out what happened to Lily Baskerville. There's a lot of deaths. We've got a flower here, so that's cool. Ew, spiders. Termites? Hundreds of termites in the terrarium. Bust them out and bring them into the present? A wooden chest that needs chewed open. Oh 
dear. Oh. Incomplete bouquet. Missing two flowers. Oh, I got one. Where's the other one? What is this? Speed up the process. This. You oh! Tamed time. Nice. Butterfly. We need a butterfly net. Okay. Unhook the key. Okay, how about a fire poker? Really? Ooh, a dark place. We need light. Perception. There's the flower. Great. Both flowers are here. We still need to catch butterflies. Terrific. Where is a net? I don't see a net. I guess we'll punch open. Ew. We have a bloody hand now. Ew, gross. Scissors, ship, snake. So it's like, oh, okay, I see. Right here. <laughs> I received termites. Yay! Great. Okay, so we need to figure out how to catch the butterflies. Are they attracted to termites? I don't have a net. Maybe I have to go and get a net. Yeah, back to the room. Regular room. So there might be like a... Something here in the present. A net in the present. Um, can we put the termites back in here? No, we can't. Well, we do have this tetravix, though. Missing five. Oh, we use the termites to chew through the chest. Okay. Oh, what does it say? Oh, wait for the termites to do their work. Okay. So, speed. There's a butterfly net. Terrific. You catch that butterfly, head to the past, catch that one, and that one. I don't know what we're doing with the... Uh... Oh, the butterflies go to the present. That's right. Here. Okay, what are we doing? Ah... Uh... We are matching. So this one... Whoa! Butterflies everywhere! Ah! If I catch him? Oh, coat of arms piece, there we go. Just missing one more. Butterfly, butterfly, okay. Back to the past, I guess? What are we doing here? Oh. Great. Second floor key. We've got the locks! Yay! Okay, what is this? Oh, I like these kind of puzzles. These are great. So fun. <gasps> the second On this floor. floor. We will find the rooms of Edward and Elizabeth. At the end of the corridor, we should find the astronomical observatory of my uncle. As for the room at the right, I think that is the room that was prepared for me. Unfortunately, my uncle didn't send me the keys. Mm. Locked doors are not an obstacle, Sir Henry. A loss of time, at the very most. There's a key here in this picture of Henry VIII. 
just an image, but he has a key. Look through the lens at the picture. Ooh, those knives above the door. Missing two elements here. Not that one? Okay. Hmm. Well, we can go back to the Tectrovix, but we are missing five more. Ooh. 44? These are... The number four is mirrored. We're missing four elements, though. This is, uh... Okay. This must be the four. Oh, are they these? Yeah. Great. So it's five. That's a four. That's an eight. We need two more. Hmm. Alright, well the map is telling me to go someplace. We do have a lens and another Tetravix. So let's go and take a look at... Ooh. We can go to the kitchen. Wax mold. Oh, do we melt that down? Look, Henry. A piece of heraldry. Someone has taken great pains to conceal it inside this wax mold. That's very cool. Indeed, Holmes. Now I understand your hesitation in reviving the fire. If the logic seen so far is repeated, we should expect this shield to release a new power of the medallion. Ew, that little rat. Too hot. Okay, fireplace poker. Here we go. Ooh, what a mess. Yay! We've got the coat of arms. Yes. Let's add the coat of arms to here. Nice. And it glows. What new ability will this jewel bring to the family medallion? Let's see. It says, nothing created, everything transformed. A quotation of Antoine Lavoisier, the famous French chemist. Exactly. This principle was widely used by the alchemists in the last century. This new power must be related to the transformation of material. Is it possible that this is the great work? The philosopher's stone? Let's search for a place where we can use it without delay. Use what? The information? Or... Oh! Ooh, a skill. Materialization. We've only got one more to get. Do we use it, uh, here? Well, here's an answer to our question. The fourth jewel of the locket allows us figurative transformation. Cool. Henry, your ancestors were full of resources. I don't think they were the source of this medallion my uncle would have known. In addition, we didn't find any research notes on this subject. In my opinion, they only looked for the missing parts. They thought that once they had completed the medallion, it would rid them of the beast. None succeeded. Where does the medallion come from, then? We shall end up discovering, I am sure. Do we use it on Elizabeth's? Charles's? Edward's? Henry's. Henry, Henry, okay. Henry, you told us that your uncle had prepared this room for you. He hoped for your visit? I had indeed planned to come see him, but we had not fixed the date. My business in Canada leaves me little free time. Hmm. Do you know who lived in this room before Sir Charles prepared it? I believe that this room was occupied for quite some time. Nobody lived here. Unoccupied. Ooh. Oh, another sign. Yeah, we've got one more to get. Ooh, okay. 15 chess pieces. Great. Okay. Just one more. Here. Oh. Hmm. 
in less than three minutes each. Yay, new skill. Chess piece on the chessboard. Oh, it goes here, huh? Wait, what is this all about? How do we solve this? Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. It's kind of like a slider, but you have to adjust things. Um, okay. Oh. It's an interesting uh, mechanics for this type of uh, slider. I like it a lot. Up, over, so we got that one. It's just a matter of pulling things in the right direction. Nice. Ooh, yay, we got the last piece here. Oh, there's a Tetravix in there. Without burning yourself. Well, we don't have the poker anymore now, do we? A cube? What are we doing with a cube? Ooh, coat of arms piece. I like finding inventory objects. Another one. A pentagram is missing pieces. Okay. The mask is out of reach. We're finding more problems than we are solutions. Okay. Back to the second floor, then we've got all the pieces for Edward's door. So now we can figure out this puzzle, which is uh, a mirrored image of five. One, two, four, and three. It looks like an eight, but it's three. Yay. The room of Edward, the famous navigator of the family, and the first victim of the curse. Oh dear. You told us that he was Hugo's brother. Was he living at the manor during the delinquency of his diabolic brother? Ooh. No, Edward was a teenager when he left for the Royal Navy. The training of a sailor begins very early. Speaking of Hugo, what do you know about him? Just what I was told, he was a base and diabolical being. Mm. He terrorized the family. Aww. He did not care for Oliver, his younger brother. I shouldn't be surprised if Hugo were responsible for Oliver's disappearance. In spite of his detestable character, Hugo found a delightful woman. Hugo was madly in love with her, but she couldn't return his love. Oh, too bad. Their union did not last. Growing jealousy and schizophrenia drove Hugo out of his mind. He killed his wife in Aww. so vile a manner. This dreadful murder is said to be the origin of the curse. I don't know any more about it. Hmm. Do you think that his wife was some kind of witch? Could she have cursed your family before dying? No, Hugo was the only Baskerville said to practice the dark arts. Nobody else. Interesting. It is possible that the locket belonged to Hugo. For now, let us search this place. Perhaps we shall find clues to help us in our inquiry. Okay. More pieces. Fishy, fishies. Those are so cool. Pentagram. Oops. Ooh. Regarding the pattern and the shape, it seems to be from Henry Baskerville's room. We are missing... Couple of empty slots. 
Well, we've got one pentagram part. We need two more, huh? Another cube. What are we doing with cubes? Yeah, missing the wolf's head. A key inside the diving helmet. So how do we get it out? Break it? Okay. Elizabeth's room key. Nice! I love this nautical themed room. It's pretty cool. Am I missing anything else in here, though? Ooh, a dark place. Perception. <gasps> One crystal eye for the wolf. We'll put that there. I guess we can go to Elizabeth's room key, though. Or use Elizabeth's room key. Excuse me. Let's give it a try. What can you tell us about Elizabeth, Henry? She was my cousin, the daughter of Charles, and a great painter. There is nothing worse than to survive your own children, and that's what happened to my poor uncle. Elizabeth was attacked by the beast 15 years before her father. Mm. It is tragic. It was from this time that Charles began to write to me. He was so sad. I think he felt guilty for failing to protect his daughter. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Okay, another hidden object. Arrow, butterfly, bookmark, bottle coins, feather. Here someplace. Here it is. Yeah, bravo. A sponge. That's what we take away from this? Okay. I guess we can use the sponge on the damaged painting. Uh, salted water could help? Okay. How do we create salted water, though? Let's take this coat of arms piece. That's good. Another wolf's head. Oh! Okay. Materialization might be the thing for the seascape. How do we collect it? Oh, the sponge. Take some? That's weird. Not very responsive. Come on. There we go. Find seven differences. Okay. Here. The spider. Uh, the fourth rose. The cap. Uh, the beam here. The swirl on this. Oh, right here. Crystal eye. Terrific. Okay, crystal eye probably goes here in the wolf. There's a spider crawling up there. Ew. An unfinished painting. Oh, it's the coat of arms. It's waiting for its colors. So we need colors here. Three items are missing, huh? Ah, wood piece. We have two wood pieces. We've got a complete set of cubes, but I don't know where they're supposed to go. Ah, brushes. So we need brush. We need... What else do we need? Obviously paint. Okay, we've got a paintbrush. A lens. No. Okay. The pentagram drawing is there. Alright, I think we're supposed to back out though. We've got... Uh, Let's go take a look in here. I think we've got... Huh. Well, we can add this here. So there's that. Missing two more pentagram parts. Let's see, which room is it telling us to go to? Here. Great. I like getting a little hint every once in a while, which is terrific. Don't know what to do. Oh, are these? Oh, cubes go in here. Okay. One, two, and three. But where do they belong? Oh, that's how many steps they have? Okay.
Oh, okay. Can it go diagonal? Oh, I can move all both of them. Okay, interesting. We have to use up two spots? Okay. Fine. Great. We've got the last crystal eye. Anything in there? No, nope. can go to the past though. How about that? To the past. And again, fresh traces of a prodigious violent struggle. Oh dear. The poor man should have stayed at sea. He was safer there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, good. We got another wood piece. We've got all the wood pieces. That's great. Dark place. Perception. Another coat of arms. Hooray! And the last coat of arms. Hooray! If the logic that we've seen so far continues, we should soon find another jewel of the medallion. Yes, Dr. Watson, but this locket worries me more and more. I'm not persuaded that it's good for us. I agree. This is very odd. What do you mean, Holmes? Obviously, this item didn't belong to any of the victims of the curse, which means that it is possible that it could have been Hugo's. And I don't like that hypothesis. Yeah, me neither. However, this medallion is an essential element of our progress. It guided us here. Yep. Guided or manipulated? I really can't decide. All parts of the character's arms. Yes, let's go turn it in. Goes up here. Yay! The final piece of the medallion is going to be revealed to us soon. Right Catch. here. Catch without- You don't think it means telekinesis? Oh. Why not? It would not be the strangest thing that we've seen in this manner. Truth. I fear the next step of our inquiry. Now that the locket is whole, we are going to have to find the beast, aren't we? I'm afraid so, my friend. We'll take it. Telekinesis. Oh, boy. Helps one access items. Helps one access out of reach items. Okay, great. Yes. Oh, this is where we reach. Like this. But actually, this is a great spot for me to take a break and return back to the game next. I think we've got like just a few more things left to do really to since we've got all of the medallion powers so to speak um let's see well we've got wood pieces here and i'm not sure what's oh i didn't even notice the mask before what does this say it's out of reach does that work ah great Let's go there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really fun game. Oh, to the past. Blood. Ew. Look at this picture. The traces of blood are fresh. Oh, okay. I have a palette. For painting? Right, the first coat of arms piece. Another scheme piece. I like the intense music. There are paw prints everywhere. Are we supposed to finish the painting? Ooh, dark corner. We use our perception on darkness. Great. Blood has been mixed into the painting. Is that intentional? It looks like a, an attack. Uh, does telekinesis help here? No. Materialization? Yes. Awesome. Master of Appearance. You have to take it with you somehow? How do you get... Ugh. 
Okay. Time. No time. Okay. Let's speed up the painting. No time to f okay, finish. Uh, materialization, maybe? Yes. Another coat of arms. Alright, let's see what we need to do. We've got a lot happening here. What is... Let's head here. Did we not finish this? Oh, we got... Oh, okay, here we go. That needed to go there, so that's good. We've got four more pieces of the Tetravix to get. What does our map say we need to do? We need to go to the past here. Oh, another scheme piece. We're missing just one. Oh, yay, here's the puzzle that we need this for. Yay, puzzle time. Okay, is this an untangled puzzle? Because I- <gasps> This is just like in Nancy Drew's Shadow of the Water's Edge. I love this puzzle. The portrait backing puzzle. I loved it. A lot of people do not. Did not. Still don't. Because it's tricky. You don't want the wires to cross. Unfortunately, this game is not very good at describing what the goal of this here is. Ooh, goody, hidden object puzzle time. Okay. Here we go. Yay! Nothing else to look at here, I presume? Oh. Yep, we got that. Yay! Location complete. I like that. Where was the pentagram located again? I forget. Charles's door. Here we go. We're still missing one for Charles's door. All right, there's something here. Oh, that's right, the Tetravix is in here. How do we, um, telekinesis maybe? Yeah. All right, oh, and here's the pentagram. Okay, uh, we're still missing one location. That is in the bug room, I believe. That's not the bug room. Is it this one? No, this one. Ah, we're still missing three. And one more scheme. Alright. Alright, back in here we have- oh, okay, time to look here. Great, a lot of art supplies we're probably gonna need- oh, paint tubes, we're counting that. Nice. Okay, just one more. It's always just that last one. Here it is. The colors for the palette. All right, we've got paints, we've got a palette, and we've got, oh. There we go. <gasps> We're painting. Um, how do we know which colors are supposed to be going where? What does this say? Paint the shield pieces using all four colors so that no piece of the same color touches. Okay. Let's make this green instead. There we go. 
And then we end up with gray, a gray shield. <laughs> oh well, I like puzzles, so I'm not gonna complain too much. Fantabulistic. Part of the pentagram drawing is there? What does that mean though? Do I need to take it? Do I need to refer to it? Oh, materialization. Oh, okay, so we take that. Well, I think we've got all the pentagram pieces, so let's head over to here and put this in here. Ooh, I Obviously, love it. Someone went through a great deal of effort to hide this plan. I love it. Hidden compartment. What can this schematic possibly represent? It is incomplete. Dear Watson, I think that it depicts the method to invoke the beast. Amazing. Ooh. Baskerville discovered the means to call this monster. Ew. Since we have the completed medallion, we have nothing left to do but to reconstruct this plan, invoke the animal, and kill it to put an end to the curse. Yeah, but what makes you confident you'll be able to do it when all the others didn't? Nothing could be easier. Indeed. Oh boy. Oh, another Tetravix. Oh. Okay. I mean, it could be wrapped around anything. Oh, is it this? Oh my goodness. Look at how creative that is. Brilliant. I mean, this, this clock looks really cool. The mask is out of reach. Awesome. Yay, the last coat of arms piece. Huzzah! What shall we discover now that the locket is reconstructed? It would be logical that we are being guided towards the means to invoke the demonic dog. Holmes, you should take note that you used the words logic and demonic dog in the same sentence. I'm afraid I did. Let's do the coat of arms thing, yes. Elizabeth Baskerville. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> this. Nice. A piece of the door key. Soon we will be able to reconstruct it completely. Yay! No, we're still missing Charles's. Okay. We're missing actually. No, that's just that one, huh? Okay, I guess that's all we have for Elizabeth. Uh, Charles's door. We're missing a stair board. Looks like. Okay, so Charles's. Yeah, wants us to go up there. Is Charles up there? There it is. Yay! Oh, a slider puzzle? I love slider puzzles. I love puzzles. I don't know what kind of puzzle I don't like. Oh my goodness, what is this? No. <gasps> That's not a slider puzzle. Oh my goodness, okay. I mean, I get how the puzzle works, but I'm going to go ahead and hit skip. So here is my uncle's sanctuary. He often wrote me about this place in his letters. He liked to spend time here reading astronomy books or enjoying Indian tea. How I regret not coming back earlier to meet him while he was still alive. Henry, you're not responsible for the tragic fate of your uncle, so remove any notion of guilt from your mind. Do you think that Sir Charles was behind the plan we have discovered? No, but I think he ascertained clues to it while preparing Henry's room. Perhaps he discovered the incomplete plan, in which case we should find it. Oh, boy oh boy. We're collecting boards of stairs. Oh, those stairs, okay. 
Hall's observatory. Building it cost him a fair part of his fortune. Ooh, that's an expensive hobby. Ah, we have a lens. We need a viewfinder, huh? Oh, I always like finding keys. We need a focuser. Okay, so I guess we're looking. We're going to be looking through the, the scope. Okay, we need a lot of pieces, actually. Ooh, a dark place. One crystal eye. Oh, yeah, we've got a place to put that, don't we? All right. Does it go here? Here? Well, what's in here that we are missing? Oh, these pieces. Here's another one. So we're missing two Tetrabex. Okay, we're just missing one scheme piece. We'll just put all these here. All right, where's that wolf that we were totally needing to go back in time to? Must be here. There's a wolf's head. Here's one. Cabinet. It's locked. Padlock? There we go. Okay, hourglass. Oh, is it this? It looks like a spiral notebook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I almost got a hint, but instead I got an award. Put of arms piece. Terrific. Ooh, dark places. The last Tetravex. Yay! Spent hours gazing at the stars. Stone planet. A lid on the crater, and it is firmly fixed. Um, does strength. Yes. Great, we have an eye. Is there anything else? Uh, we can put the constellation. Picture of the sun, of Mars. Materialize it, okay? Okay, we've got Mars, we've got Saturn. It's missing. This is where we're going to be putting the planets. Missing one. Okay. Is there anything else I'm missing before I move away from here? Here we are, a few weeks ago. Fascinating. What a shock it must have been for the domestics. I dare say they undertook huge efforts to erase any traces of this horrible murder. Can you smell that? It's the gray tea that he was so fond of. Let us not let our emotions overwhelm us, my friends. We must continue with our investigations. Oh, lots to look at. A jar. Riveting. Dark place over here. Another coat of arms piece. Great. I wonder who broke all the coat of arms and scattered them across time and space. Ooh. The pattern. Oh, okay, so we can, like, uh, materialize this and take the telescope. That's a really cool trick. I, I've never seen that in a game before, where you materialize something from a 2D image into a 3D so that you can take it as an inventory object. Oh, I guess that does count. Okay. Interesting. Yay, location is complete. Let's go to the present. 
to the observatory. We've got some pieces to add here. The telescope focuser. Um, does that go here? I don't know what the jar is for. Is that for collecting the, the blood? Ah, action needed. Two. So two moves to make the constellation of lupus. Is it this? I don't know what we're connecting, but we must be connecting. Make the view more accurate, like your perception. Oh yeah, yeah. Different kind of dog. That one looks friendly compared to that one. <laughs> Oh, try to materialize it? Oh no, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you just take the dog shape? Okay. Ooh, I thought it was gonna bring the dog to us. Ooh, the last Tractrovix, yay! All right, let's go here. Yes, to the garden, oh boy. So are we doing beetles? Okay, so if this stays in place, um, let's see, is this? Okay. That works, okay. Kinda stumbled into that. I hope you don't take offense, Henry, but I find Baskerville Manor oppressive. I must say, I am quite happy to get some fresh air. This garden appears just in time. Yes, fresh air is nice. Especially with a wall around it, feels safer. No offense taken, Doctor. I feel exactly the same. Imagine coming here with a dream to transform this manor into a cozy living place. I could never have imagined finding such atrocious scenes. Yeah. These gates lead to the swamp, don't they? We'll take a torch and a stone, because why not? Nothing interesting about the statue? It's lovely. No trace of a lock. Dry branches. I see a carved stone behind the foliage, but it is covered with dry branches. Oh, okay, it needs a stone. We need two more stones for the sundial. Okay, what a mess. Who leaves stuff like this out here? Great. One stone. Let's take fire. A lit torch. We'll add the stone. Ooh, Roman numerals. Betcha we're gonna have to do a puzzle. That'd be really cool. Covered it with dry branches. Can we burn it? Wow, so destructive. Faster. Okay. Speed. Excuse me. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's Simon Says. Okay. Yay, please be it. I'm not good with Simon Says. You should be careful. Watch your steps and don't move too far from the wall of the manor. What, in your opinion, will we find in these treacherous swamps, Holmes? If a ritual that invokes the beast does exist, I doubt it was performed in the manor. Otherwise, we would have seen the sight. I am ready to bet a packet of good tobacco that it must have been performed somewhere in these marshes. I'll be damned if this circle of standing stones is not the very location of the ritual. Be careful what you wish for, Doctor. 
We're getting closer, my friends. Oh boy. A buried chest. We need, um... The trunk sounds hollow. Interesting. Let's take a look. Oh, you need instructions of the scheme? Okay. Dark hollow. A metal plaque. Oh, more things to collect that we don't even know what goes to. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, this is a... Ooh, snake. Coin purse? Okay, great. Shovel! Oh! That probably goes there. Mine entrance. Without a plan, we would lose ourselves in there. Okay. Anything else to be on the lookout for? There's a bridge over there. What do we do about the stump? Do we use our strength? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. One more piece. Just one more. Oh dear, we have to leave this environment and go someplace else. We can go back here. Oh, another. <laughs> I guess we're looking here again. I'm not sure why. this? It is. Oh, okay. Sure. Great. We've got the piece. Let's open this up. Map of the mine. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, fun. Okay. Okay, this is a top-down view. I guess we're trying to aim for this exit right here. So if we map out our plan... Yeah, this kind of goes in circles. What if we skip the puzzle? This mine seems to have been abandoned for quite some time. I didn't know that there was such a place near the manor. The path goes deeper into the earth. We shouldn't risk getting lost down there. Let's see if we can find anything interesting here. Yeah. But this place may be crawling with spiders. Maybe so. Ooh, a bat. Make the bat spread its wings. Okay. Telekinesis? Materialization? Perception? Speed? No. Oh, a lamp. A common rag won't clean it. We need something sturdy. What? Oh. Scare the bat? Okay. Lamp? There's been no oil for years in this lamp. I think I saw a flask among the debris at the entrance of the mine. Okay. A flask, huh? Oh boy. Back here. Oh, it's right here. Wow. Bravo me. Oil for the lamp, and then we light it. Alrighty then. I guess that counts, huh? Why did we get the lizard? What's the lizard? Oh, for the bat. Ah, he was holding on to the coat of arms. Nice. All right, we got the final coat of arms piece here. That's it great. That Sir Charles was interested in these mines. Here's the last part of his coat of arms. Which is going to be very useful to us. I can feel it. Yep, let's go there. I think it's the last one. Yay! He's holding something. He's got something in his pocket. Here is another piece of the plan. It was indeed in your uncle's possession, Henry. You were right, Holmes, once again. Mm. 
Wait, there was a Venus part. Hang on. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. Roger's room? Hang on, are we going to the right spot? We need to go here. All right. Ooh, yay! This scheme explains how to perform the ritual, but what will be the consequences? Hopefully, we'll stop the curse and kill the hound. Venus. The last missing planet in the solar system of Sir Charles. Venus drawing. Two actions needed, huh? Do we need... Oh, materialize it, huh? We have Venus. Location complete. All right, where is it? It's in here. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, puzzle time. Yay! So I don't know. These are all the same. Okay, so I don't know what we're supposed to be. Oh, the pentagram. But it's not angled the correct way. Maybe we need to... Oh, I see. Okay. What does it say? Place the dots to fill in all the rays of the star. Make the way they move on each second. Mark the way they move on each second click. Your symbol will move to one of the opposite rays, which are highlighted. You cannot remove the seal after you have placed it. All right. Yeah, that's tricky. Tricky indeed. There we go. Okay. The meteorite. Awesome. Location is complete. Where do we have to go now? To the past? Here. Or here. Let's take a look. Do we need a jar to collect the hound's blood? Okay. Oh, we need more. Okay. Get all of it. Now that all the elements for the ritual. Oh boy, here we go. Is this endgame? The oh. plan we found in the manor corresponds exactly to this place. We only have to follow the instructions to summon the hound. And once it's here, how are we going to get rid of it? We know that we have to use the medallion against it, but how? Do not bother us with details, Watson. We will know when the time <laughs> comes. In any case, we must find all elements needed for the invocation. Okay. Seven invocation elements. Materialization. Oh, okay, here we go. Here. Telekinesis, there. Oh, we got that one already. Speed, here. Strength. Oh, come on. Perception. Meteorite. And jar with blood. Here we go. I... I can't believe my eyes. The monstrous animal has been reduced to ashes. Dust swept like the wind, like the curse also dissipated. Does that mean everybody gets to come back to life? You're out of danger, Sir Henry. What a night, my friends. No doubt it will remain etched in my memory for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Holmes, Dr. Watson, how can I possibly thank you? You've done so much for my family. No need to thank us, Henry. I will spend the next few weeks reconstructing the events of this adventure and trying to find a logical link. However, for me, this work of analysis is already a reward. Yeah, it's been fun. 
Well, my friends, if you do not mind, I would not be unhappy to return to our good old city of London. For my part, my reward will be a cup of decent tea and a good day off. You speak my language, Dr. Watson. Congratulations, you just completed the game and really excelled yourself. Try it in hard mode now, you really deserve this, Detective Assistant. Did you know that because you watched all the movies without skipping, you also win an award? You really deserve this, movie fan. <sighs> he will be here soon. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. My friends, what a pleasure to see you again. We are glad to see you too, Henry. Plus, I think that you have a surprise for us. Ah, Mr. Holmes, it's impossible to surprise you, but perhaps a small clue would be useful. It is a testimony of my gratitude after what you have done for my family. But, Sir Henry, to solve the Baskervilles case was indeed the most delightful reward for a detective like me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let me introduce my gift. Introduce? My dear Holmes, let me present to you the terrible hound of the Baskervilles. A puppy? <gasps> Aww. Holmes is not going to raise a puppy very well. It's going to be going to Dr. Watson. Wow. Well, okay, that was a lot of fun, you guys. Um, props to you for making it all the way through because it's hard to watch games like this, I'm sure. So I hope that instead of watching it, you went out and bought the game because it is enjoyable. And um, I'm sure after a few weeks after watching this, you'll probably forget most of what all happened. So you'll be able to figure it all out yourself. Hopefully. So I hope you go and enjoy it. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.